Having headaches focusing on your finances? Paying closer attention to your wallet can get you a lot of big payoffs. You know, what they say, money goes to those who already have money. Imagine that money is a child that goes to those places, where other children are playing. If you refuse to acknowledge this, it may come crashing down at some point. So make money management a priority and you don't even have to be a professional to make wise money moves. We'll cover 7 of them in this video, so make sure to watch till end. Also, if you are new to the channel, push the like button and subscribe. Then hit the bell, so you'll be the first notified when a new video is released. Let's see 7 wise money moves that can make a big difference regarding the way your money can be managed. The first one might sound familiar, that is, change your spending habits. Now, you probably know a lot of people, or you might also be one of them, who complain about not having enough money, yet refuse to cut back on spending and irrelevant expenses. And here comes our number one on the list. Because this basically means that you might be buying fast food too often, you might be paying 3 to $4 for coffee, going out to dinner in the cinema with friends or paying for cable upgrades. Spending habits can also be improved by shopping wisely. That means only buying the stuff you need, or, if it's an expensive item, considering buying it secondhand, considering Craigslist or even garage sales. You should be able to pay $1,000 for items that in a shop would be sold for two grand. And that's how we get to number two, which is relying on cash back sites. This way, you can cut costs, because these websites put money back in your wallet every time you shop and go to retailers. In order to be in control of your budget you also need to create a spending plan, which is number 3 on the list. This will help you spend less, than what you earn. Never neglect the power of tracking your spending. There are a lot of great online apps you can download for this purpose. Just click on the recommended link in this video to see the best investing and budgeting apps out there. These will help you track expenses and make cuts if your income is about to be exceeded. Number 4 is a really wise one. You shouldn't just focus on spending and keeping your money on the level, but also on saving some of it. So open a savings account. That means putting away a portion of your monthly income either manually or electronically. The digital option might be the better choice, because that could keep you away from skipping a month. If you are going to make a regular income, make a plan for it and also, if you get a raise, put away more money, than before. Number 5. Make sure to take care of your credit and credit score. This is extremely important, because reviewing your credit report doesn't take much time and a high credit score means that you can get the best interest rate on a loan. There's a link in the description about how to improve your credit score. Number 6 is also important, because after making money and saving some of it, the next step is, of course, investing some of it. Now one of the best solutions is to take full advantage of 401k contributions. You should in no case contribute less than the amount necessary to get your employer's full match. An IRA is also a great option, so take advantage of it, because it will pay off. Number 7, you might have guessed it, after investing, make your money work for you. There are many options out there. Beside 401k, Roth IRA and other savings account, you can invest in stocks, bonds and index funds. You can expect a 78% annual return on your investment over the years. Don't forget, the earlier you invest, the more profit you make, based on the power of compound interest. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. There's the grow to be the best button, just push it. Thanks.